Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here with our mini challenge in the challenge. You're going to want a note card or a paper that is about five and a quarter by three and three quarters ish. Okay, I have a note card and I have an envelope. It's it's skinnier, so you want your note card to be a little bit bigger or the, exactly the same size as your um, envelope. And then my, this way, <laughs> my envelope is longer and that is fine. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to close our envelope. Okay, so uh, closing the envelope. So your first mini challenge in the challenge, that was the tattoos last week. That is actually a required element for this month's challenge. This one is extra. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I've um, closed my envelope. I'm going to fold it over. And then I'm going to come over and carefully fold over my note card. Okay. I'm trying my best to, to get it even. And then folding it down. Okay. Then I'm going to bring my envelope back. Okay, and I'm going to get an idea of where I want to, um, to close this. Now, I had an idea. I don't like that. I don't... Okay, it was supposed to... I wanted it in this direction. <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm um, filming on my other other phone because the other one's taking <coughs> forever for the video to to upload. It's it's raining. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I have measured it just inside. Hopefully, I have it inside those little scallopy things. Your note paper might not have scallopy things. That's fine. I'm just, I'm using what I've got in my stash and what's easy to get to. Okay, so I have cut those two pieces off and I am going to put this in here. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and grab my glue. I am going to put my sides all the way in. Okay. So I'm going to put glue on all four sides of both sides. And I can go ahead and put my envelope, envelope in there. And hold it down so that it stays in. Okay. And then I am going to come in the center here. And I'm going to make one line. And I'm going to put that down. Okay. I'm making a small accordion pocket. Okay. So just a small accordion pocket. But I like that I had this. See? So just it's just a two-hole accordion pocket. And then what I'm going to do is, remember I had the fun file court cards? I found the lavender. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. Okay, 
and it's going to fit in there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and cut this, cut this off. Okay, so envelope, note card, file card, cut in half. Okay, now you can have it so that it goes in like this, but I'm going to have these so they go in in that direction. Okay. And I am going to go ahead and make a couple of little tabs. out of my fabric. Okay, we've been using this fabric. Okay. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is on one of them, I want the tab to be at the top. And one of them, I want it to be at the bottom. And so I'll put that down, put that down, turn it over. I'm using fabric tack. It's so nice to have new fabric tack. I can't even tell you. Even though I need to clean the end off here. Okay. And I really like this bottle. I got this from Spectrum Art Creations, and it's a soft bottle. And it just, oh my gosh, makes such a difference. Okay, so I'm folding these down. Okay, so I'll have one on the top and one on the bottom. Okay. There we go. I think this one needs to come down a little further. I don't, I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to lay it down a little further. It's too, it's too long. Okay. Okay, so you have two little file cards in there. This is not super bulky yet. <laughs> I say yet because I still have things. Okay, so I have the, the envelope, but I also have, let's see. Ooh, I have, I have that. No. I'm looking at my scraps. Looking at the scraps that I've got hanging around. Oh, you know what we have? We have the, the page of, yeah, these. Okay. I'm kind of liking that white one on there. Okay, I need it to be small enough, so I'm going to go ahead and go around it. 
This is from the mini journal part of the digital. So I got my pages are all ready and um, okay. I like that. I think we'll just put that on there. So I, I usually will play with it for a, for a couple, see if I come up with something that I, I might want to do. Okay, I kind of like that. Yeah. Okay, I, I think I want to add <coughs> this to the edge of this. Okay. Okay, so you need to do a um, panel decoration on the front. Okay, so we are doing fabric tabs. And then a panel decoration, a layered panel decoration of some sort. You can just, you know, take your digital and put it on top of another paper and layer it. I'm going with this. Okay. Okay, and that's going to give me an accordion file folder with two little file pieces. Okay, and so that is what I am going to, to make. Now you can have your orientation for this be in this direction so that if you need something for a side pocket or something, I think that would be be great. So, but there you um, oh yes, we need to ink this. Ink, ink, ink. Video's taking forever, and things keep interrupting it so that it doesn't get to. get to upload but it's okay I'm I'm ahead for the moment I've got a million other things to do but I didn't I just didn't know what to do so I kept working on this stuff the problem is is I could just make videos and make them and make them but um, I only have so much room on my phone at this time. So I have to edit and download and do all the all the things. Okay. So that is our little goodie. Um a little uh just two pocket accordion pocket using a note paper or a card in the dimensions that I mentioned at the beginning of the video and then an envelope that you take and you put it together like I did and then an index card or this is a three by five card so you can take a three by five piece of cardstock if you have it um, and cut it in half and add your fabric tabs okay you should have two pieces of fabric that you've chosen if you're doing this for your journal um so yeah so a little tiny accordion pocket 
I like it and I think this is going to be a great addition. It is March 2 by 2 so you need to make two of these and they can be different or the same. They can be for your challenge journal or for something else and so I cannot wait to see what you make. Remember that we um, we have an event in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group where you post your mini challenge in the Challenge 3.2. So I will be looking for those there. And so, yeah. So we have had a couple of our VIPs from January using the Saving Spring Digital, and they have posted their... Uh, design team projects so do check those out I'm trying to catch them and put them in the pinned featured when I see them um, if I missed one please tag me so that I can pin it to featured so everyone can see uh, what those that are the guest design team members for the saving spring junk journal uh, digital kit um, so you can see what they've made so check that out. Uh, have an amazing day. Find something to celebrate every day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.